Hey guys, double A. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update. I'm running behind as far as progress with my garden. Um, I had gotten at, hurt at work, so I haven't been able to do that much, but let's check them out. So what you're looking at is Keweenaw Copper Cross Silver Squirrel. I believe this this plant may be a male. Um, still can't tell. Should show me in the next couple days though. It's taken a while. All my marigolds are coming up. Right here is Keweenaw Copper Cross Super Silver Haze. Doing well. My soil was pretty hot, so the growth was coming in all twisted and messed up here. Right here is a Keweenaw Copper. It's an F2. Um, the one I had originally planted in here was a male. Uh, this one's a female. I planted her like five days ago. This one I need to put in super soil. This is the silver squirrel. It's a sativa dominant uh, pheno. And um, I had her out here last year. She took a while to finish and I had a little bit of uh, powdery mildew on her. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take her all the way to harvest or not. Right here is the, is the uh, silver squirrel. It's time to top her. <clears throat> Down here we have the two raspberry boogies. I really didn't want to bring these out. I don't know why I did. I meant to keep them in the house, but I had so many plants that I lost track of everything. Right here is the pink Afghani pearl. I had her out here last year. This one was the one I left in the cloner forever since last, last December and then I just took her out of the cloner and I planted her straight into this, I think it's a number two pot. It's super soil, she's really getting healthy now. I might just plant her in the ground here. Right here is a Keweenaw copper cross Pink Afghani Pearl. That's the mother that was used to uh, make this. So a squirrel made this and had sent these all out to me. So this is, most of all these are F1s except for the QAnon copper over there. But um, she, the Pink Afghani Pearl is just so vigorous, such a vigorous plant. Probably the most vigorous plant I've ever grown. Down here I have some companion plants. Blue sage and um, zinnias and salvias. The salvia and uh, zinnias are gonna be moved over a little farther away from the plants to keep the butterflies and moths away. Right here is another silver squirrel. It's the sativa dominant pheno um, that just went into pre flower when I had it inside under the shop lights. It just doesn't know what the hell it wants to do. Right here is a QA copper cross 911. I had pulled the other one out that I showed you guys originally. It turned out. Um, to get burned the soil is way too hot then there's bleaching on the plant and uh, rather than wait two or three weeks for it to recover I just planted a different pheno in here so the plants are really lanky um, compared to previous years everything's from seed this year rather than clone but I had put like 17 or more plants in a 4x4 tent. All the lowers didn't get light. They ended up stretching. And um, 
I had cut most of the plants in half or almost in half before I brought them out. So that's why they're so, so tall. But anyway, I planted, these are all my marigolds. I planted um, chives, cilantro, basil, um, lemon basil, stuff like that in here. And as soon as it starts popping up, I'll put something over on the top of the soil, some rice hulls or something. But the only thing these plants are getting is some gross cell silica, and that's it. So, anyway, I just think if you plant certain companion plants, um, it battles the bugs and all that. Um, with the marigolds, if you live in like a really uh, bad area for mites, you might not want to plant marigolds. But um, if you don't, um, they do deter a lot of other bugs. And I highly recommend you just know kind of what's research what kind of insects are in your area and then. Um, you could find out what kind of companion plants to choose to combat those bugs. You know, it's better than spraying the plants or buying like a $150 insect trap or anything like that. You just buy a $1.99 pack of um, seeds. And, um, you know, it does your garden good. Last year with all the marigolds I had, I didn't have one caterpillar or any caterpillars hanging off the plant when I had dried it um, as previous years when I didn't have all the marigolds and basil and cilantro and stuff like that um, I had like a hundred little caterpillars just hanging from my drying cannabis um, but last year there was just none I was amazed so but yeah I, just plant the right companion plants and it really just helps support them support your garden and keep everything at bay kind of you know I try not to spray my plants until um, it starts getting really humid and um, powdery mildew starts getting more coming up more in the, in the garden with all the weeds and other things around the house then I'll spray with some organic like organicide or something but anyways um, all my soil is organic super soil and um, it's a lot cheaper to make mix your own soil rather than go and um, buy a bunch of bags of soil if you understand what the bases are and the soil you could just go and buy a dry amendment and amend your soil so save you you know because like 20 bags of expensive soil costs a lot of money so anyway you guys take care